hello everyone and welcome to my channel. So today I am going to be talking about skincare and in particular my skincare routine. So some of you may know already and most of you can probably see that I do have rosacea. So basically rosacea is like a form of acne but instead of having loads of spots on your face you get kind of redness like this kind of thing. Um, I've had it for years, I think generally it's a skin condition that older people get but I've had it since I was about 13 so I've probably had it for about 10 years. But what prompted this video really is I was kind of clearing out some files on my computer and I came across one of my kind of first makeup tutorials I did and the difference in my skin from then to now is insane. Um, obviously my skin is not perfect, I do still have rosacea. I don't think I'm ever going to get rid of it, but it's just something I've kind of come to accept and learn to live with. It is just part of who I am. But since I've been doing YouTube, I've been experimenting a lot more with my skincare and kind of putting a lot more time and effort into it. And I hadn't really noticed until I looked at this old video and yeah, the difference in my skin is insane. I'll try and either put a clip or a, a screenshot of what my skin looked like in that video. Um, it just looks so much better now. So I thought I'd make a video showing you about my skincare. Um, so if anyone else does suffer with rosacea then hopefully you'll get some tips from this. And yeah, hopefully it will just give you all a little bit of information. So it's currently the morning. I tend to shower in the evening because on the weekday I start work at 6am so I just prefer to shower in the evening because I don't like getting up any earlier than I have to um, and also my morning skincare is kind of just quick slap it on because I don't have that much time in the morning. So let's show you what I do. So the first thing I'm going to do is exfoliate my lips. I do not do this every day. I to be honest with you, I just do it when I feel like I need it. Very rarely do I do it before work. This tends to be a kind of as and when thing, usually on a weekend when I'm doing my makeup nicely or something like that. But the one I use is from Lush. I think this is a limited edition one, one of their Valentine's Day ones, so I don't think you can get this at the moment. But they do some really lovely different flavours in Lush, so that's what I'm using at the moment. And basically, I just do this to get any dead skin off of my lips, so lipsticks, etc. will go on nicely and it stops my lips from cracking. This scrub is a little bit messy. You can get ones in like sticks, which might be better for you if you prefer a less messy scrub, but I quite like this one because it smells so good. And I just kind of scrub it into my lips, focusing mainly on where my skin is a little bit drier. The little scrubby particles do get everywhere, so you really want to try and make sure they're all off your face before putting anything else on. Now I like to do this before I've moisturised, so like the little sugary granules don't get stuck in your moisturiser. So now moving on to the steps that I do every morning. The first thing I do is use some of my Garnier Micellar Water just to kind of cleanse my face a bit. I don't properly wash my face in the morning, just purely as a time factor. I tend to get ready in the morning in like 20 minutes because I don't want to get up earlier than like half past five. It's, it's just too much. Um, so I just take a bit of micellar water on a cotton pad and run it over my face just to kind of remove any excess oils etc that I've built up overnight. And I like to kind of take all my skincare down my neck as well because I apply makeup on my neck. Um, obviously I put foundation on my neck to make sure my face matches the rest of my body. Um, so I figure if I'm putting makeup on my neck I should probably look after the skin on my neck as well. So when I have time I kind of between each step I kind of try and let all the product sink in and dry off before moving on to the next one. Obviously that's not always practical and to be completely honest most mornings I do kind of just do one step straight after the other but if you do have time in the morning 
um, I would recommend kind of leaving your skin for a minute or two between products just to let it kind of do its thing. So the next step I go in with is a serum. Um, this one is the Body Shop Drops of Light Serum and this is a little bit pricey but I do really like it. It just gives me kind of a really healthy glow to my skin and I do feel as though a serum is kind of that extra step in your skincare that can make a really big difference. I must say before I really got into skincare I just thought it was kind of a gimmick and I didn't really see what the difference was between this and like just a normal moisturiser but I do find that serums just seem to penetrate into the skin more and my skin feels so much more healthy when I have used a serum. So my skin is a little bit oily um, and I feel like some people that are oily fall into the trap of I shouldn't put any moisture on my skin because it's oily and it will make it worse but what I found if I don't put enough moisture into my skin then my skin will kind of try and compensate for that and overproduce oil anyway so I end up more oily. So even though my skin is a little bit on the oily side I still like to take time to moisturise it properly. So that serum sets in really quickly so I can move on quite quickly to my next step which is moisturiser. I am currently using the Simple Clear Skin Oil Balancing Moisturiser and I've been using this for quite a while and I have to say I really like it. I think if you've got more if you've got slightly oily skin this is probably quite a good one for you because it is moisturising but it's not one of these moisturisers that's going to leave you feeling really greasy. Um, for me because my skin is a bit oily as much as I do like to moisturise I don't like to go for really kind of greasy thick moisturisers I go for a bit of a lighter moisturiser. Before I started looking after my skin it was definitely more combination. I had a lot more dry patches but since I've been looking after it more it's kind of switched around to just being a bit oily um, which I have to say I kind of prefer. My skin just feels a lot more healthy. So next I go in with an eye product. At the moment I'm using this Polar Icy Magic Instant Eye Contour Energizer. Um, before I was using more kind of a creamy eye cream and I was just feeling it was a little bit heavy. Um, this is more of kind of a liquidy gel formula with one of these rollable things which does feel really nice. It definitely wakes my eyes up because obviously this is a metal ball and it's cold. Um, but I'm not sure how good this product is in terms of like actually moisturising. So I will say in terms of an eye cream or an eye product I don't feel like I've kind of found the product for me yet. The one I was using before was like a simple, I think it was an eye balm, I'll, I'll link it below if I can find it. Um, and it was nice but I was feeling it was a little bit heavy for my skin and I did start getting kind of those tiny little white dots, I think they're called milia and apparently, I'm not a skincare expert, but apparently um, you can get them if you like overly moisturise your under eyes. So. I think I need to find a lighter product. I've only been using this one for a few days, so I am yet to kind of confirm whether this is a good one or not. So finally, for my morning skincare, I go in with some lip balm. This is a Body Shop one. It's a spiced apple one that was in their Christmas collection from last year, and I've actually managed to get all the way from last Christmas through to October without losing this lip balm and like I've nearly used it up, I'm doing quite well. Um, I do like the Body Shop lip balms, I'm a bit of a sucker for like a, a fruity flavoured lip balm and yeah I just really like these. So that is my morning skincare routine, um, obviously I'll let it set into my face on a day to day basis at work, I don't wear makeup again because I start so early I can't be bothered to do it that early in the morning. Um, so during the weekdays this is how I go out. I just do this skincare routine and I'm off. On a weekend I'll wear more makeup so today I'm going to do my makeup in a little while. I'm just going to let all the products sink into my skin then I'll go ahead with applying my makeup. So what I'm going to do is go about my day and I will come back this evening um, and talk you through the skincare I do in the evening as well which is 
the main thing I think has helped reduce my rosacea so if that's something you're interested in then stay tuned. Hello I am back, it is now the evening, my makeup is looking a little bit worse for wear and I am ready to take it all off. Um, you'll have to bear with me as well because I've just taken my contact lenses out so I currently can't really see anything um, but I can't really wash my face with my contact lenses in. So anyway, let's get back into the skincare. So my evening skincare mostly just consists of cleansing and trying to get all my makeup off. So first I like to remove my eye makeup. I am using the Clinique Take the Day Off um, makeup remover. It's hard to do this because I can't see what I'm reading. So I have to admit I normally go for a cheap eye makeup remover, like a drugstore kind of price one but I got this free when I bought a foundation from Clinique so I've been using this and I do like it I have to say but I don't think it's really any better than a kind of drugstore one to be fair. So I just like to use a cotton pad and kind of hold it to my eye to dissolve all the mascara and eyeliner etc. So that is the worst of my eye makeup off. The next three steps I'm just going to have to talk you through really because I do them in the shower or at the sink and I haven't really got a filming set up in my bathroom. So when I'm wearing makeup I like to use a cleansing balm to like remove all my makeup from my skin. At the moment I'm using this little sample from Omora Vixa. I really can't see, I should have thought this through. Um, this is the Thermal Cleansing Balm and I've only used this once before but I did quite like it then and it got my makeup off nicely but the one I really do recommend is the Clinique Take the Day Off Balm. I love that one, I've not found one that's as good as that yet but it's a bit pricey. And I really like these balms because they have kind of a little bit of an oily texture but it's not too kind of messy oily so it really breaks down the makeup and kind of melts it away from your skin. So yeah, I really like balms. This is my Indie Lee Rose Hip Cleanser and I am obsessed with this. I have mentioned it on my channel before but I honestly believe this is what has made such a difference to my rosacea. It is expensive, I think it's about £35 but it's quite a big bottle and it lasts me quite a long time and I just think it's really great and in my opinion definitely worth the money. Supposedly rose hip is meant to be good for redness and rosacea and I would say it definitely works because this has made one hell of a difference to my skin. And not every day but probably two to three times a week I also exfoliate. At the moment I'm using the Body Shop Vitamin C um, Glow Boosting Microdermabrasion which is just a really kind of fine exfoliator. I personally think that everyone should exfoliate. I think it's a really important step. It just gets rid of any dead skin on your face, and especially if you've got dry skin, it will kind of brighten your skin and make it look a bit less kind of dull and crusty. So yes, I really like this one. Again, it's a, a little bit expensive. I think it's about 20 pounds, but it's a really gentle exfoliator. It doesn't kind of irritate my skin because it can be quite sensitive, um, but it does its job and definitely gets rid of all kind of the dead skin that's built up on my face. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go and jump in the shower and remove my makeup using those products. And then I'm gonna come back and show you about my night cream and wrap the video up. Right, so I'm showered, makeup's all off, pajamas are on. So I've just got to do the last couple of steps of my skincare routine. So the last things I really do are a night cream and then some more lip balm. So the night cream I'm using at the moment is this Aurelia Cell Revitalized Night Moisturizer. This again is a sample. I've nearly run it out now to be honest with you. I don't think I'm going to purchase this one once I've run the sample out. I think it's a little bit heavy for my skin so I'm going to try and find something a bit lighter but um because I do wake up feeling a little bit greasy at times but it is quite a nice cream especially maybe if you're slightly drier than I am it does have a very strong floral scent with those so if you don't like scents with your skincare then don't go for this one 
I can put my glasses on and see now I'm done with my face. So like I said, the final step is to go back in with my lip balm, which has got a load of hair in it. That's gross. So that is my skincare routine. Obviously this routine is not gonna work for everyone. Um, obviously everybody's skin is different and if you have different type of skin to me, then you're gonna wanna use different products. But I think my main tips for skincare are, like I said, figuring out what your skin type is and then you can kind of find the right products that will suit your skin. I think also cleansing and moisturising is really important. I think if you're the kind of person that can't really be bothered with skincare, at least like cleanse every day and moisturise every day um, and that should at least make a bit of a difference and that is it for this video so i hope this has been helpful to some of you obviously i'm not an expert in skincare these are just things that i've experimented with myself and this is what works for me so hopefully it will work for some of you also so don't forget to leave me a comment down below let me know what you thought of this video and let me know if you've got any other videos you'd like me to film because i'm always looking for new ideas don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you liked it and maybe even subscribe if you'd like to see what else i have coming up thanks for watching everyone bye